Okay, we have a we have a MacBook Pro. It's an empty one, right? Uh, a twelve seventy eight, and it, the issue it's a no backlight. So we want to see what we have. Let's first power on the machine to get an idea of what's happening. Okay, machine starts. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Uh, can you see that? Let's, yeah, that's the username. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So basically, it's got no background. So let's uh, get an idea of uh, what's happening here. Uh, it's not ready yet. Okay, let's first of all check out. The, did he call now? He's the one that just called now? Yeah. Okay. So, first thing we want to do is uh, check out the back over to get an idea of uh, what's happening on the board. And then we can take it up from there. Okay, uh, let us. Uh, so this is a twenty twelve, and uh, and the board number is going to be eight zero dash three one one five. Let's see, eight uh, zero dash three one one five. Let's open up that. Okay, that's it, that's our board. Switch to single node. Okay, so we want to go to J9000. J9000 is the screen connector. Um, so at J9000, we want to see what we have on our pin 21 and pin 22. So let's see what we have on pin 21 and pin 22. So that is the backlight output. We want to see what we have on our backlight output. That will give us an idea of the status of the backlight. So we can measure for the backlight output here at C90, uh, 9020 and C90. 796 so these two caps and we can see what we have on our backlight output there uh, the machine is on so we switch our multimeter to voltage mode and uh, let's see what we have so these are the these two caps here these are the two caps that i just mentioned so that's um, c 9020 and c 9076 they are on the same line we can use either of them to see what we have on our backlight output. Okay, backlight output it's uh, zero. Uh, let's just confirm that again. Backlight output is zero. Okay, so at this point, the next thing we want to do is we want to disconnect. Okay, before we do that, let's see. Let's check what we have on our fuse. Uh, let's see if uh, we have anything on our fuse. So this is going to be our F9700, uh, which is. This guy, this guy here, the one that is labeled P, that is going to be our fuse. Let's see what we have on pin one of the fuse. Let's see one side, zero, and then the other side, we have 11 point something. But okay, so now this 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 tells us that we have a blown fuse. So uh, so what we want to do now is disconnect our battery. Before we worry about replacing the fuse, the next thing we want to do is we want to find we want to see if we have a short on the other side of the fuse. Uh, because we're just going to switch the multimeter to continuity mode. So this way, this is how we confirm that we do not have, so this just tells us that we have a blown fuse. We, we should have continuity across the fuse, but what we are having now is uh, we're getting uh, no we're getting OL, which is uh, there is no continuity across the fuse. So that, that is a blown fuse. Now the next thing we want to do is before we replace the fuse, we want to see if uh, we have a short on the other side of the fuse. So let's check if we have a short on the other side of the fuse because it is important that you confirm that you don't you have a short on the other side. Otherwise, 
the replacing the fuse you may just be repeating the same uh, the same thing and thereby the fuse blown up again so what you want to do now is uh, see if we have a short on the other side of uh, the fuse that side we don't have a short and we don't have a short on this side as well so since we don't have a short here now it's fine we can now easily uh, we can now uh, replace our fuse and then another thing we, I always recommend that we uh, uh, to be done it's uh, when you are working in a scenario like this one you can also disconnect your uh, spin cable and just to be sure you do not you don't have any uh, bond or uh, or any uh, any of the pins that are misaligned uh, because that may have been the reason why the fuse was blown uh, and the fuse is basically a protection uh, a form of protection for your screen cable and screen connector uh, so and, and and it's supposed to be light in terms of uh, so that when anything happens uh, you can easily get a trip and the fuse will, will blow up so uh, now we have confirmed that the, the only thing that we seem to have on our machine here is just a blown fuse so what we want to do now is we want to replace the fuse and that should be it. So we can either use a sodium ion to replace the fuse or we can use a hot air to replace uh, the fuse. So let's uh, quickly take out that fuse and then put in another one and then we should be good to go. So for this repair, we do not necessarily have to take the board out because we are just taking out, we're just replacing the fuse. And then another thing I try to do is, uh, depending on how much heat that, how much heat you have on your heat gun, you want to turn the, you want to turn the nozzle away from the connector, not to melt the connector. We can also use a wire across the fuse. That will that, that will also do the same thing. Uh, and in a situation where you don't have a fuse, you can use a you can use a wire to basically uh, in place of a fuse. But if you're doing that, make sure you're using a tiny wire that will break easily when the need comes up, because you don't want to use a, a thick wire, which would then which would then defeat the purpose of uh, of a fuse. Okay, let's uh, can use a fuse from here. First, let's see what we have on the Okay, there's no fuse here. Mm, okay, there's a fuse here. We can use this one. Okay, that's fine. Let's take that.
check the case again. Okay, this is fine. I'm just going to quickly open up the schematic to give you guys an idea of. Um, let's see. X is zero dash three one one five. So uh, we go to F9700, search here, F9700, uh, okay that's not our schematic, 3115. F ninety seven hundred. So um, this is the beginning of our backline circuitry, and um, um, in order for um, our, our backline section to work, we need the, the 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 voltage from the fuse. So we will get PP bus voltage on pin one of the fuse, and then PP bus voltage will travel to the other side of the fuse, onto uh, basically going through. Um, uh, it will go through this MOSFET and um, this is basically the beginning of your backlight circuitry. If you do not have power here, if you have a blown fuse, none of this, none of this will work. So that's where we have to start from here. And then um, the first thing we had to do was to first see what we have on our backlight output. The reason why we had to do that is um, um, that will give us an idea of where we need to start from in terms of uh, what, uh, uh, in terms of troubleshooting our, our backlight issue. So we saw that we were having zero volt on our backlight output. So the next thing we had to do was to find out if um, we have power at the beginning of uh, the uh, the backlight circuitry, and then we saw that we had a blown fuse. So what we had to do was to check here to be sure that we don't have a short on this side of the fuse before replacing it. We just didn't want to replace the fuse, and then at the end of the day, after replacing it, we have a repetition of uh, uh, what has, uh, uh, what has previously occurred. So we confirm that we don't have a short, then we replace the fuse. Now the fuse is replaced, the next thing we want to do is we want to test to see if we now have a working backlight. Okay, so while you are troubleshooting your board, um, personally, I like to use a, I, I like to use a charger instead of a battery, because if I have a reason to quickly remove power from the device, I can just easily disconnect uh, the, the, the charger. But that won't be that easy if I'm using a battery. With a battery, it might be a bit difficult, so I prefer to use a charger. Uh, so if I have any need to disconnect power from the machine, I can just easily pull out uh, the charger. So let's see what we have. Machine is starting. Okay, so now we have backlight. Uh, just going to show you guys that we have backlight. Let's see. So that's it. We have upper logo. And now we have backlight. So for this repair, we only had to replace the fuse. Uh, and that was it. Uh, thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. We'll just uh, basically clean, clean up the board. And uh, yeah, this can go to the client. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.